Well, well, what is going on everyone? RC84 here like always. Thanks for watching. So my friends, the title of the video, what did I get? Well, I got something that I never really thought that I would ever get. And I'm sure my RC buddies are going to be the same way. Why did I get this? They're going to ask me that question. What made you get this when you talk so much crap about this company and about the vehicles and stuff like that? And to be honest, I don't hate the company. I actually like their vehicles. Uh, they make some pretty cool looking vehicles, fast vehicles. Uh, they definitely are the fastest brand in the market. <laughs> Almost. But anyway, so... This is my first land-based vehicle. I've had a vehicle from this company before, and that is da -da -da -da, the Traxxas M41 Cataran. Awesome boat. Don't have any more. Wish I did, but uh, yeah. So this is going to be my first Traxxas land-based vehicle. I know a lot of my RC buddies and people here are going to say, what? What's with you? You always talk trash about this, about Traxxas, and you end up getting a Traxxas. So, yes, I've joined the dark side. I went over and I joined the dark side. So, here it is, my friends. Dun, dun, dun. The Traxxas 2021 Ford Bronco Edition R, you know, TRX4 scale and trail crawler ready to run. And I know, like, dude. Why'd you buy an RTR? Why don't you get a kit and add all your stuff on it? Yeah, I, you know, I could have done that, but I said, well, you know, I'd rather just get the RTR and then, uh, you know, have it as so. But anywho, I'm not going to do too much about this vehicle. Uh, everybody knows what you know a TRX4 does. It has the open differentials, locking differentials, two speed. Four wheel drive, all that good stuff, but the question is, what color did you get? Well, definitely not red. Red makes your insurance go up. <laughs> but anywho, let me show y'all. Boom! I got the silver one. Josh out there, one of my RC buddies, is hating me right now because I got a silver one because he has the real one in silver. But anyway, I got this silver metallic one, and it's a lot of metallic in this paint here. And this body just looks beautiful. Uh, nice and shiny. Wheels are nice and shiny. I hate to take it out in the dirt and the mud and stuff like that. It's just such a good looking truck. And I really like this. Now, what made me get a Traxxas TRX4? That's the question a lot of my friends are going to ask me. Well, you know, I've been doing a lot of trailing here lately with a couple of my buddies. And uh, I've had a blast with using my trucks, but I really like the fact with the TRX4 that you can lock up the differentials, you can unlock them, you can lock the rear, the front, whatever, two speed. You know, I think it is a great truck for trailing. And, uh, you know, that way, you know, I can run without having to always be foot in four wheel drive. But uh, I was driving my buddy Robert's. TRX4 and I just really liked it. I was like, man, this is so cool, and I like the build the, the, able, the, the ability of uh, switching to locking differential, which you really don't need the locking and unlocking differential system. You know, you can crawl fine, but I just like that that realism of it, I guess you want to say. But anywho, so we got the Traxxas. Uh, what are these? Uh, Canyon Trails. Pretty aggressive looking tire. I really like them. Uh, we got plastic beadlock. Well, not plastic, not beadlock, but plastic uh, wheels. Looks like the same ones on the Ford Bronco. Now, why the Ford Bronco? I, that's another question. I don't know. All the other ones didn't really appear to me too much. And everybody kind of had like the older Bronco um the defender and stuff like that and i was like yeah, i really want to kind of go with this one it looks cool i think it's going to be a good off-road type uh vehicle but anywho so we got mirrors we got some window tent already installed pretty awesome um uh, on the front very nicely highly detailed front grille plastic uh 
does have a fake winch just to say hey you know Traxxas we uh, we got the Traxxas winch for it to fit up front there we already gave you the mount so just you just cut us <laughs> by the uh, <laughs> the winch there um, take a look at the rear we got spare tire on the back sorry my lighting is a little off there but look at that uh, light buckets all that good stuff there uh, this does not have lights in it I did not do the kit yet that's a down the road kind of ordeal but as you can see one of the things on the truck is that there's no body clips and that's what drew me to this uh, you didn't have any body posts coming out all right <laughs> I know I probably said body clips but body posts poking out the hole out of the out of the top of the vehicle I don't think that looks super scale when you have you have a super scale body and then you have these two little posts sitting out top of the hood and on the roof there I think that just looks unscalable uh, doesn't look really it doesn't look real it doesn't look scale <laughs> if I say. so Traxxas has their clipless body uh, clips on here which is pretty awesome this uh, design and you can just take off the body very very simple and I can do this with one hand for the most part all right so let's see boom work on the next one boom and there we go the body shell is off take a look at underneath the body shell we got this plastic framing around it that gives it more of a, a good structure there I really like that so that makes the body not so bendable and stuff like that so definitely it's pretty cool there all right take a look at the main part as you see i already got a battery in there because i was testing it out you know you got to do your you got to do your normal testing on the vehicle making sure everything works before you take it out on the trail but anywho look at this it's gorgeous i really honestly hate to take this out uh just because but but the image there for you but I hate to take this out this thing is so clean that there's where the uh, body clips slide into you still also have the body post here or mounts so if you're going to run a different body you can do so so it's all pretty awesome uh, of course you know battery tracks is electronics and I know some of y'all are going to say well you need to get rid of that ESC you need to get rid of these little servos you're not going to have to get rid of your main server in the front there uh, change out for different things I know this stuff trust me when I'm researching an RC you know I find out what's good what's bad and stuff and what I need what, what I might need to replace and stuff but anyway but yeah looks beautiful battery in the truck right now is a Venom 5000 C 20 uh, 20 C and uh, yeah so boom so this is pretty cool uh, you know I would have done the kit version I would honestly uh, there's always fun building your vehicle but uh, you know for this era I'm not too uh, I guess what do you say not too knowledgeable in the setup of the differentials and stuff like that so that's kind of why I just went with an RTR for not for the time being and throughout the you know down the road I can start you know upgrading the electronics of the of the vehicle so yeah so that's the reason why I did it it's just yeah um, so far I have not took it out yet <laughs> as you can see pretty brand new but I feel like it's going to do pretty well there's a lot of weight up there in the front I think that will definitely help me out uh, but for what I'm doing this is going to be a trail crawler I'm not using it for going up mountains of rocks and crazy obstacles like some of those comp guys do like hey let's see if we can go at this 45 vertical how you know this vertical incline how far can we go stuff like that no I like trail riding that's my thing I've always been into it ever since I got into the hobby I've been into trail rides getting out and spoiling the trails because I have so much fun because you're not you're not just on a course 
running, you know, the, the same lines everybody else is running and going over rocks and crazy obstacles. When you're out on the trails, you're exploring the trails. You're seeing what's, you're, you're seeing what that trail has to offer. And, uh, you never know what lies ahead with you when you're on the trail there. Uh, you know, there could be something that makes you have to take uh, a different rate, a different route around, uh, you know, different things, different terrain. Uh, and that's what I like about trail crawling. It's just, and it, for me, it's my therapy. <laughs> but anywho, enough of me yapping and yap. But uh, yeah, so I went to the dark side, my friends. I got a Traxxas. Yay! <laughs> now I can only hear them, what people are going to say. You got a Traxxas, Chris. So when I roll over... Because it's this thing I usually do when I go down to the, the Ditch RC Park. Or any of my buddies who have a Traxxas TRX4. They roll over. I go, Traxxas. They laugh about it. Now they're going to be like, Traxxas. <laughs> but anyway, my friends. Thanks for watching. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I know it's not a lot of detail in this. There's a lot of videos that tell a lot of detail uh, about the vehicle if you want to do that just look up Traxxas TRX4 and you'll get all the information you want but anywho this was just a slight little quick little video for y'all hope you enjoyed it if you did smash that thumbs like button subscribe to the channel click that notification bell all that good crap I mean I'm not gonna force you to do it you do it on your own free will but anywho my friends I can't wait to get this thing out there, get a little mud on the tires, or dirt, or grass, whatever. Alright my friends, thanks for watching, see y'all later.